Hello, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. How are you? I hope you are doing fine, doing well during this MCO holiday. Please stay at home. Please stay safe. Okay, eat healthy food. Alright. So, I'm sure most of you are very bored. No, uh, don't know what to do during this uh, holiday, right? So, don't worry. So, this um, video is for year 6 students. This is science subject. Okay. So, we need to proceed uh, our lessons. Okay. So, um, I just jump into uh, a new topic. Topic 16. It's about electricity. So, don't worry. The previous topic, okay, I will finish it uh, later when school reopens. Right? Okay, for this lesson, you need uh, uh, you need to prepare your exercise book, your uh, textbook, and of course, your stationery. Okay? Okay, for those who doesn't have exercise book, because I'm sure some of you left the book at school. Okay, so make sure you take a piece of paper and what you need to do, okay, everyone, what you need to do, listen, okay, so you need to copy the notes here, okay. So, uh, I already make the notes, uh, make it uh, simple for you, so you no need to copy from your textbook lah, so see, your textbook is quite long, right? So, it's easier, it's easy like this. Okay, understand? Okay, so let's start. Okay, this is the wall and weave. The wall is electricity, weave is the users of electricity. Okay, our first subtopic today is about users of electricity. Okay, look at here. Why I'm a circuit here? So, what is mean by electric circuit? Okay, electric circuit is the, what, a part of the electron electron to pass through the all the electrical components so for example here battery is the electrical component this is the switch this is the electrical appliances right okay so actually every electrical appliances has an electric circuit so when electricity flows from source such as electric power or battery here okay these appliances will work Okay, electric current is the flow of electricity in an electric circuit. Understand? Actually, uh, in year 5, you already learned, okay, about the changes of energy. Still remember? Okay, so from here is the energy, uh, is the electrical energy, right? Okay, so the electrical energy can produce a lot of other energy. Still remember? Okay, I'll give one... Uh, electricity can produce light okay uh, so light for example the lamp uses electricity to produce light for us for us to read uh, in the dark okay so another uses of electricity is sound okay the electricity can uh, produce sound okay we communicate using a telephone that runs uh, on electricity okay or maybe a microphone also can right and then electricity also can produce heating effect okay a hair dryer uses electricity to produce heat okay and the last one magnetic effect so electricity also can produce magnetic effect okay magnetic effect of an electric current for example light compass right okay another example of magnetic effect actually is um uh, school bell Hmm. Okay, so uh, for example, like, okay, we use the electricity to ring the school bell, uh, like that. Okay, understand? Oh yeah, you can refer to your textbook, page 50 and 51. The uh, uses of electricity, so you need to answer the question. Exercise 1, name an electrical appliances that can produce the following energy. So, means that what appliances that can produce from electrical energy to this energy. Okay. Uh, the, uh, this, the blank part is the for this energy. Okay. For example, what uh, ap uh, electrical appliances from electrical energy can produce like energy. Okay. I give you one example. For example, like a torch light. For example, okay, from electrical energy, from the battery, can produce light energy. Okay, so just um, write an example of the electrical appliances. Okay, that's all.